Our top story, a U-Haul smashes right through the animal shelter here in Charleston and leaves a gaping hole. Eyewitness News anchor Gina Marini was on scene today and has details for us. This is hope. A massive support from the community. Hi, girl. Be good, hope. After the Cannot Charleston Humane Association issues an emergency and is able to place 146 dogs into foster care. This little pup is one of them. We decided we just lost our dog um, a few weeks ago. And we decided to come and, and help out. The Cordy family says the house is really empty and they saw the need to help. When this happened, we were like, well, you know, we have the time and we have the space to foster, so why not? And realistically, she's so adorable that we'll probably just keep her. <laughs> this all happening after a U-Haul crashed into the back portion of the shelter where some of the dog kennels are. I immediately ran into the kennels to see if there were injuries to our dogs. Cheyenne Cleary is the director of veterinary services at the shelter. She says one dog was hurt but is doing okay. Minor injuries, thankfully again, he was a large breed dog. Had he been a small breed dog, hard to say what his injuries would have been. Cleary says she was walking through the kennel area when the truck hit. I did not see the truck come through the wall. My coworker that I was standing with, my back was to it, but he saw it. I immediately saw terror in his face and he took off running and I knew something very bad had happened. Police tell us the driver said the gas pedal got stuck and no charges are being filed at this time. Reporting in Charleston, Gina Marini, Eyewitness News. And here's how you can help the shelter. Just scan the code you see here on your screen, and it will take you to a list of ways you can help out. You can also find it on the front page of our website. And right now, they're in need of fosters. Donations can also be dropped off right here at our Charleston studio on Piedmont Road through April 9th. Thank you for watching, and here's another video to watch from Eyewitness News. Just click right here to subscribe and don't forget to hit the bell notification for the latest.